Hello everyone, in this video I just wanted to update you guys on my progress with recreating the GM construct from Gmod9 in Sandbox, in Source 2. And here it is. So as I've said in the previous video, I've tackled the problem of porting the uh, models from uh, Half-Life 2 into Sandbox. The process was really comfortable, I mean compared to the whole workflow in Source 1 with porting models. Here in Source 2 it is just pure pleasure, uh, it takes so little effort and also you don't even need to restart the Hammer editor nor the Sandbox game editor because everything is uh, hot loaded at runtime, which is really great and speeds up the development process. So. As you can see, we have the 3D Skybox uh, with uh, models from Half-Life 2. I've tried to place them around just like in uh, Gary's Mod 9 construct. Of course, the placement is not uh, exact, but I've tried to recreate the overall uh, feeling of the, of the map. And look at the water. I did a full compile of the map and uh, yes, it took uh, quite a long time, I guess around 20-40 minutes. It was uh, a long wait, especially because I did not know if this building will work, because as you can see on the picture on the screen, there were some problems with uh, this building. However, at the moment it works fine. Uh, the solution to the problem was replacing the uh, clip texture, which was here. Basically, this whole surface was uh, covered with clip texture so that the player won't fall down but then I've replaced it with block light solid I guess this is how the texture is called and as you can see it works perfectly uh, there are no problems with buildings I've added some details on the grass to make it look uh, more natural uh, just like in Gary's Mod 9 in Source 2 the grass works pretty different because in Source 1 the grass was tied to the material so in Source 1, uh, when you wanted the grass to appear, you would need to use the right material that supports the grass and also you would need to uh, make the surface a displacement. So the grass only appears on uh, displacements, it does not appear on uh, regular uh, faces. However, in Source 2, this all grass that you see are just models placed with the sprinkle tool but of course they they can be placed manually at first it might seem a little bit inconvenient maybe unoptimized but really it is so comfortable because first you can put this grass wherever you want you can put it on the concrete you can put it uh, on the wall you are not limited by the material that you are using and you are also not forced to use it on the displacements and thanks to the fact that uh, grass is now just a regular model, I was able to place some uh, reeds or cattails precisely where I want. Because in Source 1 you cannot uh, change the position of those detail props, they are just placed randomly uh, around, the, around the face. However, in Source 2 you can control all those models, you can even scale them, so this is uh, quite awesome. And to make it a bit more optimized, so that uh, the entire grass field does not need to render every time, I've set up the uh, fade start distance and fade end distance. So, when I go uh, away from the grass, it starts to fade. Another thing that I'm really proud of is this room. As you can see, those god rays coming in, this volumetric fog. And yes, at the moment it is a bit over the top and I think I should crank it down a bit. But yes, it looks pretty nice. Here is the dark room and there are some problems with the dark room. If you can see on the walls, the light map looks quite funky. There are some weirdly colored patches and I guess this is because of the uh, low resolution of the light map. Maybe I should bump up the light map resolution so that those artifacts would disappear i don't know i will uh, experiment with that but other than uh, that it really looks great and i love it okay so i spotted one problem and this problem is here part of the model gets uh, clipped away but i guess changing the texture to block light solid or something like that will help and will prevent the issue 
Also, you can see here this weird grey face. This is from the skybox because I've set up a small reference that is basically um, recreating the boundary of the map so that I can uh, place the props and that they won't clip into the world. But overall, I am pretty happy with the results. We can see the skybox. Uh, the lightning looks beautiful. The water looks quite beautiful, although very dirty. It looks like some kind of swamp water. However, yes, after the full compile, the water looks amazing compared to the uh, look of the water when you do a fast compile. But it is all thanks to the uh, radiosity calculations, light maps, things like that. So, if it comes to GM Construct, it's all I had for today. But before you go, I would like to recommend a great resource for learning mapping in Source 2 for you. And that is the Hammer Crash Course by Eagle One Development Team. The Jimona Hihi, I hope I pronounce your name correctly, did a great job explaining all the important uh, aspects of mapping in Hammer 2, like lighting, creating 3D skyboxes, and so on and so forth. I really recommend you to check his series out. I will link the playlist in the description. So this is all I had for today and let me see you in the next video. Bye!